coming from a below average family in Vietnam, I think I know what poverty really is. No hangouts, no shopping for clothes, no extra courses. My family couldn't afford my tuition back at that time, which led me to almost believe there was no way I was going to college. I wanted. It's not like going to college is the only way to success, but I wanted to go there for a purpose, for a larger destination of my life. I want to gain knowledge, to build up my own company and support my family financial situation. And luckily, I found a way by gathering every help that I could take. I was so grateful and excited because I could finally do what I truly loved. I also realized there were way too many people who are in need, maybe facing the exact same problem like me, but they get no help instead. So I did a research and I found out 736 million people are still living in extreme poverty and half of those who are still struggling to meet basic human needs turns out to be under 18 which means that they are even younger than me and they literally children children are supposed to eat well have fun go to school and make friends they are not supposed to like work and worry about what their next meal is going to be and poverty so clear and simple right but the question here is that how exactly are we going to do it being the number one spot on the United Nations as DG list sustainable development goals speak for itself how important this issue is why others may say that education is the key to all problem but I personally think that any poverty is certainly more important in this case how does someone struggling to survive think of going to school or even sending their kids to school Education is free in most, in some countries, but most of the other places, it is not. And sending ones away means losing a money maker, no matter how harsh it sounds. It's true. And not gonna mention that people have been taking advantage of others' kindness because they know people are going to help them anyway. Many countries agree that encouraging economic growth and opportunities and moving people to employment help ending health and poverty. But don't forget about education and teaching gratitude and spirit of progressive motion education is free and it should be. People should always keep their head up and deal with any challenge that is